Steam is the biggest digital seller for video games. Currently, there are about 73,000 games on Steam right now. And every single day, about 50 games are newly released on Steam. This number is so big that no one ever in their lives could ever complete all of these games. I mean, if you would have even played every Steam game that there is, for exactly one hour, it would still take you 8.3 years. Not counting the hours for sleep, or eating, or other bodily needs. So it is just natural that a lot of these games never really see the light of day, or get any kind of attention. I was on the lookout for such games. Maybe there is a hidden golden gem just waiting for me somewhere. To be fair, it can be pretty difficult to find a decent enough game on Steam that has absolutely no reviews. Most games that get no reviews are either very very fresh and newly released, or are just fitting for a very exclusive audience like visual novels. There is a ton of visual novels, but after a lot of scrolling and scrolling, scrolling, something had caught my eye. Mountain Legends Free. I'm quite enthusiastic about racing game, and this is a racing game that was in the store for about one month, and it had absolutely no user reviews. Now, looking at the store page, I knew I had to get this. The developer just recorded a video from his laptop, how he placed the game as a preview. And the way the menu looks, and that this game is clearly just a ripped Android game, it was perfect. I had found my gem. So I did the very good investment of two euros and nine cents into this man's growing business. By the way, I um, haven't played this for 14 hours. I just forgot it was running in the background. So I'm probably the person that has spent the most playtime on this game in the entire world. You gotta put that on my gravestone. Upon starting the game, I got what I was promised. This charming menu where half of the time, I don't even know what I'm selecting here. Like, what is this C? Is it the color of the car? No, it's it's legal stuff. I don't. I still don't know how to change the color of the car because it's clearly somehow possible. I just don't know how. But I didn't let that stop me. I selected the car, which there are quite a few. You know, you got your supercars, you got this Vauxhall Astro looking thing, a police car, a muscle car. There's a lot to choose here. And then I selected the racing circuit, which are all called mountain, even though they are sometimes not in the mountains. So I don't get why this is called mountains, but you know, I, I don't know. And I got on the road. Before the race even starts, I was um, able to drive. The game knows this and screams at me early, but there are absolutely no penalties for this, so um, I guess who cares? Now I was finally able to enjoy the thrilling excitement that was Mountain Legends Free. Well, I was honestly a bit pleasantly surprised. Driving around didn't feel great. The controls are very clunky. It's more like controlling a truck than a car. But after a little while, I actually got pretty used to it. The game also doesn't look terrible. I know it's not the prettiest, but it also doesn't look like a hideous mess that smells like stolen assets. Okay, I'm editing this right now and I'm taking it back. It, it does smell like stolen assets. I mean, someone took a car model and slapped the word booby on it. Booby, but well, it could be wrong. I don't know. The game even has a first person perspective that looks pretty okay. Besides the gigantic fingernails on your thumbs and until you crash into something, you can stare yourself into your soul because you can see the inside of your head. Happens a lot. I also love other camera views, like this cinematic one, where you can just look outside of the boundaries of the map, which looks so good and so immersive. It's like I'm really there. Unfortunately, this is kind of all there is. Lap racing is the only mode that you can play. There's a decent selection of tracks. Some of these don't really look too bad. I kind of love how the dev put some fake ads here, like the coffee shop and Coffee Cafe 2. You cannot make this up. I'm still waiting for like coffee version 2. <laughs> but wait, what does that look like? Hmm, that's um, that's concerning. But anyways, there's also another sign saying, do not lose hope, no pain, no gain, hard work pays off. This is like some motivational t-shirt that a boomer would wear. But yeah. Because there's only one mode, the game gets boring um, very quickly. It's just the same thing over and over and over again. But 
I honestly think that a bit of love went into this game. Like at least a teeny tiny drop of love. Okay, I was about to talk about, you know, how the developer has a website proudly displaying every game and that he has a YouTube channel where he shows gameplay of his games and that he must be passionate about it. But to be honest, most of these games are just made from assets you can buy online. Just put them together real quick and shit it out on Android market and to make a quick buck. So I wasn't about to judge, but I think a bit of judging is in order here that these games are cash grabs and now to make more cash or just port it to Steam where this shit is just laying there and thankfully no one buys it except for me and I can't get a refund because I have 14 hours on this game <laughs> but that's on me that's my money my two euros so yeah this is what I'm having to say about this don't buy this game maybe uh, just maybe I will check out some of his other creations and maybe they will prove me wrong like Mountain Legends 4, or Last Car Standing APK, or Pickup Driving, which is obviously not the same, but just with pickups. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of trash to go through here. <laughs> So yeah, if you have suffered as much as I did through this video, um, leave a comment to die instantly. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed this, leave a like and consider subscribing because there's much, much more trash that I will cover in the future and have covered in the past. Last video did horribly, it was about a game called Garbage Day. I recommend checking that out and some other shitty racing games that I've played before. So yeah, there's a ton to watch. And yeah, I hope you have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.